Hello everybody and welcome back to the next lecture and right now let us start off by a simple FTP attack so we in the previous videos coded some of the SSH tools such as the brute forcer for the SSH we managed to uh, attack the target with our simple passwords.txt file and we managed to find the correct password right now what we want to do is try to code something similar for the FTP so we know that our metasploitable is running FTP port open. So if we just run nmap of our metasploitable, which is now 192.168.1.6, not 16, 6. And I run this, you can see that it has the port 21 TCP open. The pardon me, FTP open. So this is a really common port to be open on many servers. Now, one of the main vulnerabilities right here is that this is not really secured, which I will show in some of the next lectures. By secured, I mean these credentials for this. So if I FTP the target, FTP 192.168.1.6, uh, apparently we do not have the FTP right here. apt install FTP. Not really sure if this is possible. So we are installing FTP in order to perform the FTP connection to the target. Uh, what I was saying is that these credentials from the target, since we will have to specify the username and password for the FTP port, can easily be sniffed on a local network. So they are unencrypted, they go literally just in plain text and you can pick them up if you are sniffing on the local area connection, which I will show you once we get to the section where we actually attack our local network with sniffing packets and uh, sniffing passwords and so on. But for now, let us see how we can actually log in to the FTP with our FTP brute forcer. But before we code the FTP brute forcer, I want to show you a simple attack, which is called FTP anonymous login. Now, some of these server admins allow other users to perform anonymous login in order to check some files. So we can easily write a simple program, which will do the same. So we will try to anonymously uh, connect with just a non-existent username and password, and we will see if that will work. But first of all, let me see if right now, if I go and type the FTP, which I would do if my terminal worked. So let me just, whoops, not here. I want to go to my Kevin Linux machine, clear the screen and try to FTP to my uh, Metasploitable machine, which is 192.168.1.6. We get the connected to this IP address. We get the version of FTP running, uh, which is a vulnerable version. So I know that because of the uh, there is in the Metasploit there is a module that actually exploits this, so you can check it out by yourself if you want to. For now on, it's just good to know that it is a vulnerable version, but not to this attack. I believe we will not be able to anonymously log in. But I just want to show you since there are a lot of servers or administrator of servers that actually allow this to be uh, used on their FTP. So right here, we need to specify the name. Uh, I'm not really sure. I believe it is MSF admin. Please specify the password, MSF admin. And we can see login successful. Remote system type is Unix using binary remote to transfer files. So we know that the username and password for the uh, Metasploitable is MSF admin and MSF admin. But let's see that we don't really know that. We will try to brute force with a password list the same for the SSH just right now. Uh, we will brute force the FTP port. So let us see how we can do that. In order to exit this, just type here exit. Now let us first of all nano our anonymous login ftp.py. So nano, let's call it anon login ftp.py. We want to start off with our user bin Python line. And all we have to do right now is port is to import a library, which will allow us to perform the connection to FTP more easily, which is the library FTP lib. So this is the name of the library. We can import it. I'm not really sure if it comes for Python 2 or Python 3. If it doesn't come for Python 3, we will pip 3 install it. Don't worry. And all we have to do right now is actually uh, Let's first of all prompt the user for the for the host to actually attack, which will prompt with the enter the IP address. Whoops. So we'll prompt the user and let's actually run a function on login on our host. 
So this function doesn't exist, we will code it right now. Uh, this is our simple, you can call it a main function, even though it is outside any function, we will not put it anywhere, we will just call the anon login. So def anon login, and we will specify that the argument for that function is the host name, since we specify the host in the argument bracket, so host name, oops, host name. And what we will try to do is actually just perform a simple connection to the FTP with some random username and password. So we will try to actually uh, make an FTP variable to be FTP lib .ftp of this host name. This is just the syntax for this library that we imported. And all we want to do is perform the login function that our FTP library allows us. So FTP login in the function we all, all we need to specify is the username and password, so we can just type here anonymous and we can just type here anonymous as well, doesn't really matter, we can specify anything we want since this is really random and all we want to type right here is print if this manages to actually execute and we manage to log in with these credentials which we probably won't since I don't think Metasploitable is actually allowing the anonymous FTP login, but we will see in just a second, let us first of all print the, uh, for example, plus string of our host name, host name, or actually our host name is a string, so we don't need this string before that, so plus host name, let's make a space between this, and we want to plus FTP anonymous logon succeeded. So we put a dot right here, we close this, then we want to FTP quit in order to exit the FTP connection and we will return true as this did work. So if this works we will get this printed out and we will know that the anonymous login is enabled on the target system. If it doesn't however uh, we will just expect any error, so we can just do exception comma e, which means it stands for basically any error that occurs during this connection try. We want to just print oops, let's use the double quotes since we use the double quotes in the upper part plus hostname plus FTP anonymous on failed. So this is basically the entire program. As we can see right here, what we are doing is just trying to connect to the target with some random credentials. If that manages to actually work, we will print that anonymous login succeeded. If it doesn't and we get some error, we will print that it failed. So let us see how this will work. If we save this program, control X to exit, we ch mod it in order to make it an executable. Let's run it right now and let's see, enter the IP address 192.168.1.6. We let this run, so it says FTP anonymous logon failed. So we can see that the Metasploitable target doesn't have the anonymous logging option available. So that is good for every server, since there are a bunch of other attacks that can open up if this is actually available on some server over FTP. But trust me, there are a lot of servers that actually allow this for some reason. Let me just fix this since here we don't have a space. Let's specify space right here. So FTP or anon login FTP. Let's specify just a space right here and that would be about it. So this is our anonymous login uh, program, which works, I believe. Now all we have to do is test it on some of the... Now all you have to do is actually do multiple tests, multiple attacks on FTP servers and you will manage to find sometime a server that actually allows this which can potentially allow you to proceed with the further attacks. But for now on in the next video we will code a much more uh, common attack or something that we can do on any FTP server which is basically to brute force the credentials in order to log in over FTP with the correct credentials. So we will do that in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.